Earlier today, a man was arrested for plotting to murder Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh and subsequently kill himself. As ABC News reports, a California man was charged with attempted murder of a U.S. Supreme Court justice for allegedly making threats against Justice Brett Kavanaugh and showing up near his Maryland home armed, federal court records show. The suspect was angry over the recent mass shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, and the leaked draft of the Supreme Court's decision impacting Roe v. Wade, according to an affidavit from an FBI agent submitted in support of a criminal complaint in the U.S. District Court on Wednesday. The man, identified by the Department of Justice as 26-year-old Nicholas Roski of Simi Valley, was allegedly spotted by two U.S. Marshals wearing black clothes and carrying a backpack getting out of a cab in front of Kavanaugh's house at approximately 1.05 a.m. Wednesday, according to the affidavit. A Glock 17 pistol, two magazines, pepper spray, zip ties, a hammer, screwdriver, nail pouch, crowbar, pistol light, and duct tape were in the the backpack, according to the affidavit, the suspect then allegedly called the Montgomery County Emergency Communication Center to say he wanted to kill a Supreme Court justice, according to the affidavit. Okay, very serious, very, very serious. And this should go without saying, but of course, I unequivocally condemn this. This is seemingly coming from either the left side or the liberal side, and I don't approve of this sort of political violence. I understand that people are frustrated with the way that the Supreme Court is undemocratically rolling back civil rights. But if you think that our political system is unstable currently because of hyperpolarization, imagine how destabilized it will become if the way that we resort to solving political problems is by killing politicians. You don't want that, I promise you. I studied, you know, regimes where this is a common phenomenon and it never ends well for anyone. So of course, this isn't the environment that I want. But What's really interesting is that um, Brett Kavanaugh was lucky because the police acted here, unlike the children in Uvalde. So it's nice to kind of compare these two situations because it really demonstrates to us all the way that the lives of elites are valued much more than the lives of just normal Americans, even children. Um, and the response politically from Mitch McConnell has been to call for immediate action, even though it's been weeks since 19 children were murdered in Uvalde, Texas, and dozens more were killed in other mass shootings since then, Mitch McConnell, you know, he's pretending to care right now about gun control, and the Senate Republicans are currently talking with Senate Democrats. I think they're probably stalling because it's evident what you need to do. But yet, when it comes to this issue, where Supreme Court justice was in danger, but the assassination plot was foiled, well... Nope, we need action today. HuffPost reporter Philip Lewis writes, Mitch McConnell calls on Democrats to pass Supreme Court security bill after man arrested outside Brett Kavanaugh's home. House Democrats must pass this bill and they need to do it today. No more fiddling around with this. They need to pass it today before the sun sets. More from McConnell. This is courtesy of Mediaite. McConnell claimed House Democrats have been blocking a bill related to the security of Supreme Court justices in the wake of the unconscionable leak despite predictions that their safety could be threatened. This is exactly the kind of event that many worried the unhinged, reckless, apocalyptic rhetoric from prominent figures toward the court going back many months, and especially in recent weeks, could make more likely. Now, he's referring to the bill that passed in the Senate with unanimous consent that provides police protection to Supreme Court justices and their families. Now, it's interesting that he wants this passed today when nobody was hurt, thankfully. But he has stalled gun control for decades. The bodies have piled up and there's been no urgency for Mitch McConnell to act. But the second an elite is in danger, you better take action before the sun sets. He is demonstrating to you that he doesn't care about normal Americans. He refuses to act, blocks action for decades, but when an elite is in danger, that's when he's got to take action. Isn't this astonishing? This should be insulting to every single American that these leaders, Mitch McConnell believes that we don't deserve security. Your children do not deserve security immediately, but Supreme Court justices do. Okay, you want this passed today? Pass gun control today. We'll pass this when you vote on gun control. If we don't get gun control, sorry, we don't get this. If you want that, you've got to give us this because 19 children were slaughtered just a couple of weeks ago. Nobody was injured in this instance. It could have gone bad, but it didn't. But the security of children is a much more salient matter 
than what you're asking for here. How do we even know, though, that more police is going to help the situation? Maybe Brett Kavanaugh needed an extra door on his house. Are you telling us that praying hasn't worked? I mean, has Brett Kavanaugh not been praying hard enough? Why are these solutions not acceptable for you, but they're acceptable when children are murdered? Do you understand the disconnect here? And this is essentially what people responded saying. Patton Oswald tweeted, Just put one door on Kavanaugh's house and arm his family. Problem solved. Ethan Klein of H3 added, Brady boy obviously just needs to get a gun. How many doors does he have? The answer is a good guy with a gun. Are his kids strapped? What about his wife? Now to mention, how are we going to pay for this? Can we really afford this? Do you understand how preposterous this is? Of course, if public officials are in danger then action must be taken to protect them. But there's just no urgency whatsoever to protect children who don't feel safe in schools. An 11-year-old student who survived Uvalde by rubbing her dead friend's blood on her body and playing dead just testified today explaining how she does not feel safe in schools. And there's no urgency for Mitch McConnell right there. None. Who knows how long this is going to take. In fact, after the Uvalde shooting... Congress went on break for Memorial Day. But yet he's saying, no, 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 you're going to pass this today. You have to understand here. This is Mitch McConnell and Republicans broadcasting to people that they don't value your life as much as they value theirs. When elites are in danger, action must be taken immediately. But when it comes to school shooting after school shooting after white supremacist terror attack in a grocery store after another massacre... Mitch McConnell blocks action for decades. I mean, please understand, take away from this the reality that is clear. They don't care about you. Your children can be slaughtered, and the only time they care about bloodshed is if it could potentially harm them. How about we protect everyone and take action? Well, the donors wouldn't approve of that. See, the reason why Mitch McConnell is okay with taking action to protect Brett Kavanaugh is because, I mean, what donors are lobbying against protecting Supreme Court justices? But when it comes to protecting children, you know, gun manufacturers don't want to see the age to purchase firearms be raised from 18 to 21 because think of how many thousands of sales they're going to miss out on, how much profits could increase from that. You understand? It's all about money and they just don't give a fuck about you. Remember this moment and never forget it, because our leaders are saying that your children can die and they don't give a fuck. They only care about their own asses. That should tell you something about our government officials.